This is an open letter to the boy in the blue coat. I am writing this knowing you will probably never get to read it, but still somehow hoping that you do. I'm not sure if you remember me or not, and I certainly can't blame you if you don't. You've clearly got a lot on your mind. We met on the train tracks on the bridge spanning the Assiniboine River. We were walking the same path, going in opposite directions. We made direct eye contact, and I was ready for anything. I was ready for the awkward smile and nod. I was prepared for the friendly, hey, how's it going? It's a nice day today. I was even ready for both of us to look away just as quickly and pretend to be invisible for just a little while longer. But what you told me that day on the bridge, I was in no way prepared for. You looked me dead in the eye and told me that you wanted to kill yourself. That you would walk these tracks until you met a freight train of fate with an engine strong enough to lift the world's weight off your shoulders. That you would soldier on one step at a time until you met that iron pegasus to take you to that train station up in the sky as you stare down the approaching headlights with salvation in your eyes. I feared that you might feel this way, simply because no one's ever asked you why. But I missed that chance. By the time I had collect collected myself, you were already one bridge too far apart. As you kept crossing those tracks one by one by one after another, the only thing I could think was that I really should have listened to my mother when she told me I'd never talk to strangers. But I'm writing this letter to let you know you are not the only one who feels this way. There are suicide prevention lines that you can call for help, but if salvation was as easy as pushing seven buttons, I would have dialed that number a long time ago myself. But I can't just stand by and watch as the iron skeletons in your closet shovel more and more coal into the engines of your personal demons until smoke blackens the sky and exhausted dreams and steam that seems to rise forever with no end. Maybe your mother didn't tell you to never talk to strangers, but she does not need another funeral to attend. So as you keep crossing these tracks with every step in attempted suicide. I'm just afraid that that light at the end of the tunnel is approaching faster than you realize, and every night it's the same. The clickety-clack of my heart skips a beat every time I hear trains wailing in the distance outside my bedroom window. It feels like someone is driving a railroad spike through my chest, shattering the tracks of my ribcage into the corners of your coffin, one by one by one. And if the differences between us can be spanned by a bridge that connects the distance between an awkward smile and nod and talking to strangers about your pain if I ever see you again. I want to tell you that I hope that you always miss the train. Yeah!